with graduation on the horizon, a lot of young people are going to be looking for jobs, but there's some important things that you need to remember before you email the resume out. That is right. Yahoo Web Life editor Heather Cabot joins us, and she's going to share some digital job hunting tips. And for all the parents out there, you can, of course, use these or pass them along to your graduate. Right. Yes, Hi. and honestly, they apply to anybody. Yes, Hi, good to be they here. They really do. And we got to talk first about first impressions mm -hmm. because whether it's your email or your Facebook or your Twitter account, First impressions do count, right? That's right. I think the one thing that everybody needs to remember, whether you're a young person graduating, a teenager, a parent talking to a teen, or you're somebody looking for a job in general, the internet is forever. Whatever <laughs> you put out there, there is a chance that somebody could see it. And when you're looking for a job, just assume that somebody's going to do a search on you. Mm -hmm. okay. So what you want to do is search yourself. Make sure you do that on a regular basis and see what turns up. Um, if there are photos, and I'm not even talking about something really scandalous, but just a photo that's not really appropriate, doesn't really show you in a professional light, take it down. Change your privacy settings on your Facebook and other social media that you may use just so that stuff doesn't show up. Just like I said, assume that they will look you up. And you want to make sure that, that whatever those search results pull up, that those are the things you really want to make a great, a good impression. Yeah, we were just talking about this in the office yesterday about how many people just put post any and everything mm -hmm. up there on their Facebook pages and then never really think about the consequence. They think, oh, it's just friends that are going to see this. Well, I think it's also thinking about who's in your friend network, too, yeah. and who may accidentally tag you in a photo that you really don't want oh, That is to the see. worst. So it's really important. And worst. you can change your, your privacy settings. You know, I, I know it takes a long time to do that, but it really pays off to just sit down and think about, you know, do you want friends of friends to be able to tag you? Do you want, uh, who do you want to see this? And I think it's also really important to set up a LinkedIn profile. Try to keep your, your personal and your professional social networking separate. Mm -hmm. I, I think mm -hmm. it, that's really yeah, important. Yeah. Um, the email address needs to change also. Well, yeah, I was going to say, and also in terms of making an impression, this really is for college students. Okay, number one, you're probably going to lose your college email address as soon as you graduate or soon mm -hmm. after that. Okay, so you need to make sure you're not sending out a resume with your EDU um, mm -hmm. email address. Secondly, you really don't want to have that, you know, uh, the example I gave was hot to hottie, yeah, hot to try, you know, hottie 26 at Yahoo, you know. Uh, get a better one. I mean, you depending use your on what name. kind of job you're looking for. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. And, and again, you know, this goes for anybody looking for a job. Take a look at your email address and try to get one that's actually your name if it's still available. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, you know, if you're sending out a lot of resumes, it's great to have a separate webmail account just for that mm -hmm. so it doesn't get lost and mixed up with the other personal stuff. I think it's just nice to have that separate account that's just for your job plan, just for professional stuff. I think will work overtime at yahoo.com. <laughs> would work really well in this economy, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Right. Let's talk about uh, doing your homework. How much research should you do on the company before you even send the resume? Well, make sure you do some. Uh, and I also think it's really important to, when you're sending out your resume, tailor it for mm -hmm. that specific job. Um, and tailor your cover letter. Use so, uh, social networking sites like uh, LinkedIn to see if you know somebody at the company. Mm -hmm. Don't just send a blind cover letter and a resume. That's just going to end up with thousands of, you know, see if you can actually use all this different technology to find a, a connection, a real connection that makes sense. Um, and someone who can actually recommend you. Mm -hmm. And then the last two things that yeah, I want to touch on, you said don't stop using the cliche yes, statements yeah. and words. Yes. And then my biggest pet peeve is the spell check. If you're not going to get Huge. that cover letter right, then, you know, why are they? And a lot of people don't use spell check. They don't. Yahoo did a survey last year on grammar and spelling and things like that. And we found that 43% of people couldn't remember the last time they didn't use spell check or uh, the grammar check, meaning that they couldn't remember the last time they actually just looked in a dictionary mm. to check wow. something. It's free. Use it, right? Yes. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Heather. Heather. Great tips. <laughs>